I've got a video again for you guys today. I hope you're going to enjoy this. This is a collaboration video with the Glitter Girls. Today is Joe's birthday. Let's wish her a happy birthday. I'll leave her YouTube channel down below for you guys as well as a playlist. Today we're using the Mora products. I forget how much I love these. This is number 307, this beautiful gorgeous blue because she loves blue and teal. So I had this beautiful blue. This is also their artistic gel from Mora as well. I really love this artistic gel. It's a little thicker so it applies really good when doing like filigree and things like that but I'll try to I bought this from a lady on Facebook that sells more of products I will try to find her link and leave it down below for you guys so that way you can go check these products out I'm also going to be using the Mora stamping gel this gel is amazing for stamping guys she has several different colors this is a black but you can literally apply pigment glitter or or fulls to this stamping gel it's so wonderful it's so versatile i absolutely love it i don't know why i didn't buy more colors but i plan on it but anyways definitely check it out this is clear jelly stamper this is a stamping plate i bought a long time ago it has horses on it and she loves horses so i wanted to incorporate this with these uh the colors that she liked so please <laughs> let me know what you guys think about this mini if you think it turned out pretty cool with the blue i wanted to do more of a brown set but since her favorite color was blue i wanted to do things that she liked so let me know down below guys and like i said if i leave a link out or anything just ask me i don't mind one bit to give uh, you those links this is my alpha brush number six this is a gel brush super amazing as well um i'll try to leave that down below as well but anyways guys make sure to leave me a comment i love talking to you guys you guys really make my day you guys have been really supportive and i appreciate that from you guys but i love every one of you make sure to go check everybody's money out as well after this video guys and i love you all let's get started
All right, guys, so this is number 117. Um, this is like a pearlescent color. Um, I'm gonna be applying this over a clear tip, so instead of it being completely clear, it's gonna have this pearlescent look. This is beautiful over any solid color that you wanna use, or if you just wanna do the glass look with like a, just a little bit of a pearl hint to it. Uh, I'm just gonna be applying like, um, uh, you can, I'm gonna do one layer, maybe two, just really depends on how, how if the pearl lesson look kind of shines through the clear if as you can see if you can see through the one coat you can see that kind of a pearl shine to it it's very beautiful i absolutely love it but yeah um but this is number 117 like um she has all different sorts of gels i really enjoy the products if you don't know anything about mora products you can actually go on youtube and look up uh mora products or whatever uh, or mora gel polish um, there's a lot of nail tutorials with using uh, these kind of products. Um, it's been a minute since I used them. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I, I had them sitting on the shelf and I went to look and I was like, oh my god, I really forgot how much I love to use these. But they are absolutely beautiful. These are five milliliter bottles. I cannot remember exactly how much I gave for the bo these bottles. I want to say that I gave anywhere from six to um, dollars. I'm pretty sure I might have had a discount code at the time, but but love this clear jelly stamper uh stamping plate it applies really really nice i'm just gonna put a really now this stamping gel is really tricky guys i'm not gonna lie to you all you want to put a not so much uh, like a thin layer but not so thin that it's not going to completely cover the product if that makes any sense but when you swap this you want to make sure that you roll your stamper very gently over it because if you push down too hard it kind of picks up all the mistakes that you make too. Does that make any sense? Like uh, the gel that goes outside of the image will pick up on the stamper as well. So that's why you see me taking a card going around and just kind of trying to fix the mistakes on it. But um, once you stamp it, you can take any um, color, sugar, glitter that you have and apply to that gel and cure it. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, sugar gel here or sugar gel, listen at me sugar glitter and i'm just going to apply over top of the stamping gel here and just you just want to make sure that you have it completely covered because once you put it down is where it sticks so you may have to apply just a little bit more than usual leave it on there don't cure it just yet just make sure you get it fully on there first before you decide to cure i am going to cure this anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds just depends on your light and how well your light works but once cured you're going to take a fluffy brush or any kind of brush that you have and you're going to dust that glitter off and when you usually dust the glitter off then it shows the image now at this point I'm going to top coat. I'm putting a thin or not so much of a thin. This polished or top coat is kind of on a thick side. I'm using a thicker top coat and I'm just going to put one coat over top of this. And what that's going to do, that's just going to ensure that when I go to do the rest of the layer stamping, it's not going to get stuck inside of the glitter. So which is a good thing because you don't want to leave it bare and then try to stand on top of it. It makes a big mess. Believe me, I know I've done it a thousand times because I've always forgot or this and that. But, but once I put this layer down on top of that glitter, it's not going to hurt the glitter at all. And it's actually going to be more smoother this way. You, you won't have them little ridges from the glitter in it. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it so far. Let me know down below, guys. But yeah, let's go ahead and get on with this video.
All right, my lovelies, this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I absolutely love this mini. I think it turned out really cute. I hope Joe loves it as well. Happy birthday, darling. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll make sure to leave all the links down below of everything that I used today so that way you can go check it out. I did use the Born Pretty Stamping Gel as well today. That's another favorite of mine. I really love that gel. for It's a multi-use thing. I use it for a like, lot my one-stroke videos and stuff like that. If you guys want to see a video like that, let me know about one-stroke. If you have any suggestions, let me know down below, guys. I will try my best to get those videos done for you all. But let me know what you think about this set. Make sure to go check everybody out. Uh, I'll leave that playlist down below again for you guys. Don't forget to go check them out. And anyways, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's be friends and do nail art together. Please share my videos. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get all my latest uploads. And if I leave anything out for you guys, just ask me. I don't care to give you guys those links. But thank you guys for being so loving and so supportive. I really appreciate that from you guys. But you have a wonderful, blessed day, guys. Bye!